Hey, John Nelson joining you here with a fresh new haircut. I said, give me the gym coach from Beavis and Butthead. Can you make me shinier? Is there any way I could look more like Chet from Weird Science? Terrified new recruit, please. High and tight, please. No, just take it all off. I'll take the torpedo. Do you have anything that would make somebody give me a second look and then recoil in horror? I'd like something in the realm of good enough in two weeks. Who am I kidding? I did this to myself. I cut my own hair. So for the next couple weeks, I'll be benefiting from some generous lighting. And in that spirit, I'm going to show you how to make a hill shade with soft, multiple directions of different hues. Candy colored, pinwheel, glorious, multi-spectral, multi-directional hill shade. Starting out with a digital elevation model, create a series of one, two, three hill shades, each in a consecutive angle. Then give each of these three hill shades a color neighboring each other on the color wheel. And then blend all three together using a multiply blend mode. And then add a layer of mist. Into ArcGIS Pro, I'll add a layer from Living Atlas, my favorite place for data, called Terrain. And Terrain is a global, full coverage, multi-scale digital elevation service, a DEM. And I'm going to set the rendering type to dynamic range so that the lowest and the highest areas within view are squished to the black to white rendering. Then I'll go into the raster functions and I'm going to choose hill shade. And I'll just do a basic hill shade on my terrain layer at an angle of 270, so coming from the left. And I'll hit OK. Ah, I love it. I'm going to run Hillshade a second time, this time from a slightly different angle, this one from the northwest, so an upper left light source. And I'll run it a third and final time. This time the light source is coming from straight up, 360 degrees. I'll do a bit of layer naming housekeeping so I can see which one is which. And then I'm going to edit the color gradient. Instead of black to white, I'm going to make it like a brightish greenish color to white. And I'll use a linear algorithm so that we don't get any hues in between the light and dark versions of this green. And the result looks like a taffeta bridesmaid dress from 1964. The second, middle hill shade, I'll give a different gradient. Instead of black to white, I'm going to choose a bluish color to white with a linear algorithm, which looks very cool and snowy. And the third hill shade, I'll give it a pink gradient, dark pink, whatever that is, to white. And I've chosen three colors that are consecutive. They're next to each other on the color wheel. If you jump around the color wheel, the universe explodes. Now it's time to blend these three layers together. So I'll turn on the middle layer, give it a multiply blend mode, and then the topmost layer and give it a multiply blend mode. And this way, all three hues are sandwiched together, each with a slightly offset illumination angle. And then lastly, I'm gonna drag up the original DEM to the top because I wanna turn it into mist. I'm gonna invert the color scheme so white is low elevation areas. And then I'll just use the screen blend mode, which looks like mist. And you know what? We're gonna add a little bit of hue contrast in here. Instead of white, I'm gonna make it like a pale khaki color. Now this sort of candy colored multi-directional shade throwing is useful for a lot of reasons. Uh, the first is it's intriguing and a little bit beautiful in my opinion, but the slightly different colors at different angles are actually pretty useful for people who are exploring a terrain. And I was actually told by a cartographer for a special forces unit that this is what they do for their operators so that they have a good sense of the terrain in each direction. And lastly, there's an emotional sense that comes along with the coolness or warmth of the color palette that you choose. You could use this as a wintertime base map or you can swing the colors around that color wheel and make something autumnal or spring-like. Anyway, I hope you give it a try. Flex your hill shading, light casting, shade throwing muscles.